everyone, it's David with davidspassage.com and it's uh, mid-June here. I'm doing an annual trip down the Asabo River today in a kayak. And just a beautiful day for us, high of 71 today. Um, every year I take a group of about, oh, I don't know, there's 15 to 18 of us here uh, on sort of a guided trip down here on a, on a little uh, three-day camp and that sort of thing. And, it's going to be a really nice day. So we're at the Osable River. We're actually using a, a company called Paddle Braid Canoe and Livery here in Roscommon, Michigan. Really recommend them. They do a wonderful job with the livery um, and kayak service and that sort of thing. They've got great raids, just super friendly people, a super nice campground, and uh, just a great place to, to set out and launch. I'm actually renting a kayak today because it's a little hard to bring it on the 15 passenger vans that we brought up. So um, yeah, just getting ready to launch here. Here's a little shot of the river. Beautiful, I saw the river today. That one is uh that one's universal, it doesn't matter. Going well, how about yourself? Not bad. I can weave between you. Pardon me? Any luck today so far? Just been out here five minutes, so not yet. Oh. And you? Just little ones. Okay. Yeah. We're uh, 
I was surprised they were going for the dry flies this oh, late. Were they? Yeah, they were still rising a little bit uh, this late in the day. I just didn't expect it, but yeah. <sighs> This is the George W. Mason Chapel, and he lived from 1891 to 1954. It says, He and made the fishermen receive the same inspiration which led George W. Mason, a true sportsman, to bequeath to the public this land and this sanctuary beside his beloved river, 1957. I was in here uh, last year, I think it was, and uh, had sort of an epiphany as I was sitting here, thinking, wow, this is the George W. Mason Chapel. It's pretty pretty famous thing on the on the Osabo River and I was just talking to some guys about this just a minute ago and, and in a chapel in the front of a chapel a lot of times there's stained glass but if you notice there's no stained glass there's still a cross but there is no stained glass because it's not really needed if you look beyond it it's God's design not man's really cool so I usually stop every year and just sort of get a better view of the river, which is pretty cool from up here.
Don't drink the river water. What? Don't drink the river water. Yeah. At least not without boiling it. Some chemical treatment, maybe. Oh, I'm not my arms hurt so bad. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How you feel? What? How you feel? It's amazing. Amazing? I know. But hands hurt. Big shot right there. 